Hello, my name is Robert Wood, and this is What the Fuck News. I'm your host today, and I'm telling you guys about lots of crazy shit. Now, when you were growing up, you used to think about uh, things like gravity. Gravity is really important because we keep trying to figure out how the fuck it is, or what it is, what, how it happens, and all that good stuff. But we've got a lot of ideas. Thanks to Einstein, we've got ourselves uh, the general relativity, which means it's the general gravitational classic spin of the ball, blah, 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 blah. That's the old school way. And now we have quantum gravity, which means the Earth and everything out here is all kind of controlled by the black hole, the moons, the suns, and planets, and all the things that affect our gravity. That was our classic model and what we do. Now, I don't remember no quantum gravity, but there's that fucking word that keeps popping up. But let's keep moving further. Now we're talking about a beautiful thing things called, it's, it's the gravitational anomalies that the planet has. The gravitational anomalies, we have positive anomalies, which is basically uh, gravity, it's controlled by the substrate and the material in the substrate, like basalt, um, all these other dense rocks, if it's highly mafic or if it's got lots of iron, uh, the electrical pull of the gravitational pull, the electricity basically that the back of this turtle produces down, down below, kind of comes up and kind of hits them metals. And those metals that take a lot of electricity, basically, which you have, your little whatever flows, it makes them more magnetic. And so if you have a lot of iron in the soil, you're going to have more gravity. Now, in my time, with the old classical model, you have the globe, and you had three different kind of anomalies. You had a little bit of a variance on the gravity on the poles, and then you had a little bit of a variance on the equator itself. But not anymore, everybody. It's all now about the substrate in the ground. So, if you have a negative anomaly, a negative anomaly has less gravity in the ground. Because you got lots of silica in the rock, like granites and all those other beautiful things that has high silica in the ground. But again, go back to positive anomalies, which means you have lots of metals, heavy metals, and those heavy bits or metals gives you more gravity. So that's right, if you're a big ass bully, I recommend grabbing that little sissy and pushing them down on something metal. You want to take them to an area where it's got lots of metal on the ground and push them down there or whatever you want to do. I'm only joking. Don't actually do that because that person will fall down harder. In fact, there's areas that you walk around and you'll notice you have more gravity. That's right. You can jump farther. If you're a white guy, you can't jump. But if you're black, you can jump really high. And I recommend if you're a white guy, to make sure you have a court over granite. Lots of silica, because you can jump much higher. And make sure that the other team has lots of iron in the ground, because they can't jump very high, because of all the gravity from the electricity produced from the core of the fucking whatever flat disc or round disc or the turd that we live on, or whatever you want to call this octagon thing. But remember, gravity is not just a ball anymore. Now it's a compilation of, of what's under the ground. It depends on what the metal makeup of the ground is, the substrate. So remember now, gravity is not just a simple thing. It's complex and it's diverse depending on where you are and what's in the ground. Now that's a what the fuck. I only remember the old model, the old uh, general relativity that old fucking Einstein fucking put out there. But Einstein is dumb and Einstein didn't get it right because now people, we've got multiple variants in gravity all over the back of this turtle. So some places you're gonna fall down harder and some places you're not gonna fall down harder depending on where you're at. And this is what the fuck news because I've never heard of this new weird gravity anomaly shit. So remember, depends on where you want to beat that person up. Always find a place that's got lots of iron in the ground because they're going to hit the dust harder. And that's all I got to say for What The Fuck News. Have a wonderful day and keep your eyes up to the sky and now keep them to the ground.